Welcome back, guys. It's the Brothers Geek Out podcast number 97. Oh, my God, we're creeping up to that 100, G, man. How's it going? 100 coming up soon, man. Uh, yeah, I'm good, bro. I'm good. Everything's all right out here in, in uh, hot Singapore. Uh, how's things with you, man? No, good, good. Just working away, working away. Guys, uh, remember, if you're new to the channel, you like the content you've seen so far, click on that subscribe button and click on that notification bell to notify you every time we upload a new video. Uh, other than that, everything's really cool on our side. It's been a very busy, busy, busy week with work, family, uh, special occasions. Uh, but I think this week's topic, I think it's going to top it all off. February 13th, I think it was quite late night. He released it on Twitter. It's gone mad, bro. It's like, it's broke the internet again. It's, it's weird like to think such a pop cultural thing like this would cause mm. so much... I don't know. Like I, for me, I'm excited, but it caused some hatred on the same level as well. Always will. Always will. So Matt Reeves. Anything that could be hundred percent exactly. positive yeah. because everyone has an opinion. No, of course, of course, of course. Uh, my Twitter was blown up once I posted it up and then uh, did a video. But the Matt 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 Reeves, the director of the Batman, which has started already production, uh, released first test footage of Robert Pattinson as the Dark Knight what was your thoughts bro well initially when you sent it the one thing I loved straight away was the music actually because I was quite epic yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that music they had was was good obviously I do want Hans Zimmer on this soundtrack however that music was good uh, the first reaction I actually to be honest with you I thought this was some like why does it look like Daredevil and I think that's been a lot of the memes anyway, because it does, it's red and whatnot, and just his jaw structure and the way that everything is, he looked like Daredevil. Um, but a fan, which is, which is crazy, but a fan turned it into black and white, which it should have been, because it's Batman and whatnot. It, it looked good. I got more, even the red one, sorry. Like, mm. like Even though I thought, like, why does it look like Daredevil? I was like, oh, this is kind of looks sick. Um, the the uh the, the bat symbol on his on his chest um looks great it looks like a batarang i don't know if he's gonna looks pull like it a out and it looks like a, the, the gun split in two and then put in together oh shit the gun that killed his mother yeah his parents his yeah parents should i say yeah. uh oh shit that's deep that's deep okay okay yeah 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 that looks sick um but then yeah, then the sort of black and white one that I found done was moist. Then you done one when you put the Hans Zimmer tune on mm. with the black and which made it even more sick. The Hans Zimmer <laughs> Dark Knight soundtrack. <laughs> yeah. So I'm looking forward to it, man. I mean, it's crazy how Batman, you just put something like that and you just get too moist. You're like, oh my god. And it's Batman. It's not how many Batmans have we seen? Yeah. And we still getting moist. Yeah, so, no, of course, of course. What do you think? Nah, uh, bro. My first reaction at first was thinking, is this somebody that done cosplay? And then, really? yeah, I thought it was cosplay, and I was like, oh, this looks deep. Because the soundtrack got me, in it. The first thing that got me was like, dun, 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 dun. And I was like, hold up, man, this soundtrack is deep. And then yeah. I, I saw it was Robert Pattinson, and I was like, my God, they've like, changed the whole concept of the suit. They look like they're going for the Arkham Knights look, but then they're going for another one, which is quite interesting, is the, the Gotham by Gaslights comic book. Which is oh, got the, like the one a, in the UK is a Jack the Ripper thing. Yeah, 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 got yeah, this yeah, kind yeah, of like, yeah, yeah, the colours or whatnot. Yeah, that's right, and uh, I love that. It looks, it looks good. But I mean, we need something different to see on the screen. Uh, yeah, you know, that soundtrack sounded like it was something from like Conan the Barbarian or something. You know, yeah, what I mean, yeah, like yeah, one yeah. of those sort of old yeah. school soundtrack type thing. Yeah, it was kind of deep. I don't know if that was a soundtrack for the movie or just for that clip. But it looked like, yeah, like, yeah, some Conan the Barbarian, Jason of the Argonaut shit, you know. Um, you remember that? It just sounded yeah. like one of those things. A big boss is going to arrive and dun, dun, dun. Yeah, 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 it was most, deep. Yeah. I liked it. Like I said, the first reaction was like, oh, shit, Daredevil. But then you, you keep watching it, you you accept his Batman, and you're like, oh, this is deep. Um, so I liked it, man. No, Looking I, forward to seeing I, what they do. I want to see a full costume. I want to see him, how he looks. He does. He does look very. Because uh, obviously we just saw Bale, who was um, not Christian Bale. Sorry, Affleck, who was a hench Dark Knight one, right? Hmm. Now he looks very chiselled and s not skinny, but very chiselled again, very smaller again. So it's like a small I wonder one. how it's gonna look. Yeah, because I've always liked. I mean, we've always. I mean, for me personally, I suppose like the Batman's I've seen so far. 
I've always liked Batman Begins, Batman and Ben Affleck's Batman because it's that brute, big, big bulky. I know Christian Bale towards the third one, he kind of slimmed down a lot more. It was more of a slim looking Batman. And the same thing with the, the original movies. They were like, they weren't bulky, big Batman. So they've gone to that younger look as well. Uh, the jaws all exposed. I'm, I'm a bit worried about how his eyes will look in this. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I wonder. I wonder if his suit's gonna have a bit more technology based on it. Based, you know, based mm. on if they're going for the Arkham Knight look sort of thing. Um, I don't know, man. Listen, at the end of the day, he could look awesome. Soundtrack could be awesome. Hopefully, they give us an awesome movie, man. That's that's what all we want, right? Exactly that. Uh, exactly that. I trust Matt Reeves, uh, and for him to be working on this project this long, I think he's played a part of the past five years of his life trying to get this put together Ben Affleck was going to be in it then you know Ben Affleck was going to write it direct it then now it's gone to Matt Reeves you know the script must be good but the script must have went through so many changes and, and for them to pick out a brand new Batman I mean that's not going to be connected to the universe I think they should just stick to that because the Joker doesn't fit in the cinematic universe anyway you know what I mean so why yeah, would you continue yeah, exactly. to make movies that don't fit in the cinematic universe? Yeah, and and listen, certain movies like The Joker will win Oscars and whatnot, so they don't have to. Um, you don't have to copy Marvel and whatnot and mm. go for that. Go through that um, same thing. Because uh, Birds of Prey, I don't know if that even fits in any universe or whatnot, or it yeah, sticks yeah. to the old kind of whatever universe. Squad, yeah, it's, it's very different. Um, but yeah, I mean. Let's see what happens, man, and how many villains they put in. And it, the, the the Batman movies, I think, what well, the Nolan ones especially, um, really emphasised a lot on the villains, man. Mm. Emphasised a lot on the villains. And I'm not saying that this film has to do the same, but it's kind of set a benchmark, not just for Batmans, but for also the villains. Well, um, I think from what I've read so far and what I've seen so far in some YouTube videos where he wants to, this is going to be more like, you know, the, the, the detective side of Batman. He's gonna mm. be the he's gonna be the detective, which I want to see a bit more because we got that a little bit in Batman, in uh, what do you call it? Christopher Nolan's first Batman and second one, where he played more of the detective. He tried to work things out. He built new technology to find things out as well. So I hope they put this element in there. And this morning I was reading the Long Halloween, which it looks like it's gonna be based off that 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 comic book. It's gonna be an interesting take on. We'll get a whole different new Batman again, which is which is kind of cool. We're, we're gonna get mm. something brand new, and I'm gonna enjoy that. Definitely gonna enjoy that. Hope oh, so. Well, when's it we're scheduled to release? Next year? What are you after? Next year, brother. Next year. Next year. All right. Well, man, that will be DC's movie for next year, man. I reckon. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> I hope so. Definitely, definitely. I hope so. It will be. It will be. The Oscars were last week. Yeah. Yeah, so Joaquin, we as when we first watched that movie, I was like, give him fucking everything. Yeah. And I think he got everything, right? I mean, he was awesome. So it's a performance, man. Performance, such a great film. I, you know, I need to watch it again. Now that it's been a couple months, I want to sit down and watch it again. But, no, um, definitely, definitely. Deserved, man. Well, he did. He, did you see his acceptance speech? I mean, Joaquin Phoenix is a very awkward guy when it comes to when he does those speeches and all that sort of stuff. So only because he's dude, changed. Man. Huh? He's changed over the past couple of years. He's he's seen the world in a different light, and uh, he wants things to be different. But they have the power because they've got the money. They got the, the they've got the big screens, you know. So he, yeah, I mean, well, I mean, whether he can change the world or them, be, but that at least them people have the platform to to express the thoughts and whatnot. Exactly. And maybe some people will listen to it and, and then other people are gonna be like, "Fuck this guy." Um, <laughs> But anyway, yeah, no, of course he's changed. I mean, people try... I, I remember like, a lot of people were like, oh, I bet he's because of the Joker and all this stuff. I'm like, no, I think he's been awkward from way before, man. No, like, not just don't. because of the Joker. Like, I don't know, people just want to keep attaching itself to, attaching it to that. Um, but he's very awkward speaking. But anyway, no, his speech was obviously good and it was positive um, about change and all this sort of stuff. And um, he deserves it, man. He deserves the Oscars. No, and no, what he... about... Uh, the, the film that won Best Movie, Man, Parasite, the Korean movie. I watched the trailer. I mean, listen, I'm not... I, people, I, I listen, like, like, Oscars, cool, whatever. 
like some of the movies that win are just not my cup of tea. Mm. So I watched the trailer and I was thinking, should I go watch it? And I was like, oh, I just can't bother. Um, that's more. For, I mean, for me, that's that? going to be no. I, I'm going to personally just watch that when I put my TV up, bro. <laughs> you know, it's going to be one of those at home movies, like, and I probably yeah. enjoy it. It's like it's weird. It's like a like Jojo Rabbit. Mm. You know, I wish I got to see that on the big screen. Yeah, but I didn't. I saw it on Plex. Yeah. So that's yeah. a film I would actually enjoy to see on there. But Parasite is one of those movies like. Uh, it's going to be a good movie, but it's going to be like. Uh, what can I say? I, I don't know. Like, Oscar. Like, just because a movie wins. Like, again, it's the same thing about critics when we say fuck the critics. Because we just like what we like. Right? Mm. So just because a movie wins the Oscars, like, a lot. You know, a lot of people, the general people, like, like I've heard and whatnot. And, WhatsApp and Facebook and whatnot. It's like, oh, this movie, Korean movie, awesome, blah, 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 blah. I need to watch it, I need to watch it, I need to watch it. I, I don't think any Oscar movie has ever influenced me to be like, oh, my God, I need to watch this movie. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm, like I say, man, fuck the critics. Good or bad, fuck the critics. I will just watch what I find enjoyable, right? No, no, of course, uh, of course. So I'll definitely watch The pa- Parasite, but I'm not proper moist to be like I need to go watch this movie because the Oscars said it's the best movie of the year no totally Fucking, understand totally. No, same I mean I'll, I'll end up watching it but not now like Jojo Rabbit is one of those Oscar movies that I wouldn't want to watch I, 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 it didn't win no awards though did it no well Avengers didn't or Endgame didn't win no awards Damn, it's the first that's another one to talk about movie man. that didn't win, win anything now don't get me wrong like such a great movie still and he made all the billions what what, what would you rather have what would a, what would a director or a, uh, a studio rather have the billions or the oscar i don't know i think billions. i'd take the billions the billions, the give billions. me the billions give me the billions um, whatever but yeah i mean that didn't win anything i thought it would have got something at least visual effects or whatever they you know or i, think I don't it was know on, it wasn't nominated for too many too much stuff anyway uh i know it was nominated for visuals but it they really should have an award for like best storytelling or something. That's a ten year story. Who the hell has ever done that? I mean, don't yeah, get me wrong, they... Star Wars and all these ones that have come back, they came back because of what I, I think because they got influenced by Marvel. Um Marvel started this whole trend of storytelling and intertwining the universe, a movie universe, something that's never been done before. Um so they should have won something, you know? Yeah, uh, I, I know, think. but like Yeah it's a, it's a difficult one. It is definitely a difficult one, but uh, no, nah, I mean, look, props, man. It's all the, the studios looking at the billions, man. They're not looking at what do you call it. They're not looking at yeah, anything it's else. They're looking the billions. at the billions, the billions, yeah. the Oscars. Oscars are going to be for you know the creative art movie. So, uh, hands up to uh, the the parasite. I will watch it eventually. But uh, shout outs to the Joker, Warner Brothers. You yeah. guys, uh, oh, Koreans have a good um, what do you call it? Uh, some of the movies are good, man. Right? We saw. Remember, we first watching Old Boy, and we're like, "What the fuck? This film is deep." And then, you know, you never watch it again because how fucked up it is, knowing what it is. But it's such a great fucking movie, right? Yeah. Um, so they got a way of telling stories, or you know, they got their ways. Yeah, they've got their interesting ways of telling movies. Definitely, definitely. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, I, I'll end up watching it later on. Definitely later on. But the meanwhile. Well, I've got loads to catch up on. I watched Hellboy the other day. I'm not going to put this in the subject box. It was just a quick random one. I enjoyed it, bro. Sorry for people who I, abused it yeah, and all the rest of it. I abused it. Well, I, didn't, I, I don't know if I can't remember what I said about it, but I, I know I didn't really enjoy it that much. I felt like it was forced. I think even some of the comedy, I felt like it was forced. Um, but I think because I watched it where I didn't really... I don't know. I just watched it. I enjoyed it. For what it is, you know, it's not an amazing film. I know that. Mm. But for a, a movie that I can slap on for like an hour and a half and just take me away, it genuinely did that. And I, I like some of the visual stuff. like, And I like some of the backstory about Excalibur and what it, what it was doing. And I was like, you know what, this is decent, man. But yeah, that was that was one part. Uh, let's put this down. Did you see what Kevin Smith released yesterday? No, what did he release? He released the cast of Masters of the Universe. Oh, moist. I thought, I think I saw something with Mark Hamill. Is Mark Hamill playing Skeletor? That's crazy. That is crazy. Yeah, uh, Skeletor. 
There's, it's a good cast. Uh, I'm, I'm actually looking really forward to seeing what Kevin Smith brings to this because it still continues from the older cartoons. So oh my it's God. an exciting feeling knowing that somebody can, like as he kept on saying, getting that Netflix money. Uh, hmm. You know, somebody who loves the product, who has a passion for this product and to get the chance to do something amazing like this he must be fucking over the moon so all the best to kevin smith shout outs to kevin smith uh mm. goonies goonies the goonie googles the goonies uh there is a remake to make a pilot uh, with fox on tv to make a what like a tv show uh no no remake no. even as the matter if it's a tv program or a movie or whatever if it's a remake or even if it's a continuation it's laws not goonies yeah but yeah. they're gonna do it every single movie but oh fuck well that's not good I, I mean listen i can't judge i haven't seen it yet but i'm so attached to the old one how could i even um even like anything man no it's true very true very true i'm, I'm not a big fan of that I'm not yeah, a big fan of that at all. Yeah, that's basic. What about, um, uh, oh, trailer, another trailer, Stranger Things. <laughs> Stranger Things. I know you're not happy about what it is, um, or what did they you, Did you see my WhatsApp response? I did, yeah, 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 I did, I did, I did. But we all knew, though. It wasn't like... No, of and, course, it of course. It wasn't but... like it was... A, like, see, what they should have done is not just say anything. Because at the end of the last season, they kind of gave us a hint. Um, maybe they should have just kept it completely secret. But because they gave us a hint and we all knew, then um, I don't think it's that bad exposing it. Um, that obviously, what's his name? What's the cop's name again? Hopper. Hopper. Hopper, yeah. Hopper's still alive, obviously, in Russia. Uh, building train, building railway lines or something. But um, yeah, I'm I, I'm not too mad at it to be honest with you. I'm not you mad at it. Do you think they're traveling cool. back in time doing that, bro? For building Say railway again? tracks. I wonder what the tracks are for. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. That, that's yeah. I wonder too. Yeah, I mean, I was gonna do a trailer reaction. I didn't do it. I've missed out on a couple of trailers. But I don't know, man. I was like, you bastards, you bastards. I knew he was nah. alive, but I was like, I didn't want to see him. You know? Yeah, but I think I think this one's okay because you knew. You knew. Uh, yeah, that when it's the Fast and Furious and Hans Khan comes back out of nowhere, then you're like, what the fuck? Maybe you should just save that for the movie. It don't make no fucking sense, but maybe you should just save that for the movie. You know what I mean? But this one, um, I think you kind of knew. So you're like, all right, well, give it to me. Bastards. The bastards. Yeah, no. Uh, look, I'm excited. It's Stranger Things. I know Ash uh, and Wifey went to the Stranger Things uh, secret cinema this week for his birthday. Uh, he goes, he really enjoyed oh, it. it. Yeah, he goes, he really what enjoyed. What did they watch? So they, this one, they don't really. You know, like my, when we went, we did the Back to the Future one where we got to see the film. They re like they reacted most of the the, the scenes. Uh, yeah. This one was different. This was based in the court in the mall from season three. And they have to go do some investigations on different parts. They meet Hopper, they meet the scientists and stuff like that. So, uh, nice. no, he, he said he had fun. He really enjoyed it. It was a good couple of hours. That's cool. That's nice. That's mm. nice. Awesome. That's good. Well, Stranger Things is awesome, man. Fucking hell. I think that's one of Netflix's best shows. Uh, it's, it's, it's amazing, original Netflix content and whatnot. Um, fuck, man, I can't wait for it. It's always good to watch. It's always good when this come up. There's so much shit to watch. I'm watching Narcos Mexico season two's come out. I haven't seen um, it. Yeah, I mean, look, if you have you seen if you you've seen the original ones, what, the, the first, first one, the last season, couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those ones are the best one. Season one was the best, and then two and three just to finish off Pablo Escobar's story is good. This one's cool. We still got that element. If you like that sort of story and whatnot, um, it's great. And also, it is a bit of. Um, uh, what you call it history in the sense that um you know this is it's based around real events and all that sort of mm. stuff as well um no, but it's okay it. it's, it's okay it it's watchable and whatnot yeah, yeah i also watched them um, they released uh, another one called who shot malcolm x which i was quite interested in anyway um yeah for us um yeah i mean it was a good program i mean obviously they were investigating more on who um who, uh, spoiler alert by the way no I mean, no I, 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 uh, but I've no, mate, it's, it's, first yeah, anyway. 
No, I mean, it's just it's oh. a, a guy really investigating in, into the murder of, yes, of Max Yes, that's Reyes. right, because it's it an unsolved mystery. 55 like, years, bro. Yeah. How many years? 55 years. Bloody hell, 55 years. Crazy. So, yeah, it's looking into it, because he was murdered in front of loads of people, and that's it. I mean, one guy went to prison, but, he, you know, they, they, <laughs> they, it was... It was always bullshit. Um... But he was it was a powerful guy. And listen, like I know at first he had all this hatred and whatnot, right? Uh, it's interesting to read his story. I actually want to read the bio. You got his yeah. book or something, right? I want to read that. Um, I want to learn more about him. But you, you know, his parents were killed, and he assumed that they were. He thought they were KKK members that killed his parents, and um, you know, then he went to prison. He was a drug dealer, all that sort of shit. Islamic, blah blah blah. Well, not Islamic, Nation of Islam. What they didn't emphasize, though about the program i have to say though because they spoke mostly about the black muslim which was the nation of islam they kept talking about that and obviously there was loads of faults in that in that organization right um but they didn't really emphasize more on when he went to mecca like he split from them went to mecca and realized oh okay they said it a little bit but the like the when he saw the true islam which is not just hate the white man it was a very multicultural thing and, and, and Islam doesn't see colour and all that sort of stuff. They didn't focus on, on they didn't focus much on that at all. But they said a lot like black Islam, black Islam, black Islam and that was all negative. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um but it was a good program. Yeah, it's a good no, program. If you watch his out. documentaries yeah. and you watch his speeches and you compare it from when he was with Nation of Islam to when he came back and parted ways from Nation of Islam he was calm, collective, more peaceful. He understood that the message he was putting out before was hatred. Uh, and yeah. it's an interesting guy. I mean, the book so far, I mean, I'm not fully into it at the moment. My uh, Shanaz reads it, read it and said that it's a really good, really good book about him. Uh, and you'll get to learn a bit more about him. But same thing, I want to know more about the guy after he came back from Hajj. That's what I yeah, want to know yeah, about. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Because I even well, know I he... Do love Sorry. You're gone? I mean, you know, he was a man at peace at the time when he came back. So, you know, everybody focused on his hate. Yeah, yeah and, and of course he had that, yeah. But you should think about, yeah, where he came and whatnot, where he came from and then how we, where we got to right at the end. I'm glad, you know, this is a messed up thing is I'm glad to right at the end of his life, he got to more of a point of peace. Um, because obviously he started off as a drug dealer, crack dealer, you know what I mean? It was all bad, 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 bad in the nation of Islam. Okay, maybe he thought it was a one step up, but it was still getting, um, you know, you, uh, his mind was still getting manipulated and whatnot. And then at the end, it was, he saw, I'm glad he saw the true Islam before things happened hmm. um, and whatnot. And what I love still, I always compare it, man. I mean, not compare it, but I love the fact that X-Men, he was Magneto in X-Men, right? And Martin Luther King was was professor, professor x and yes my, my, i could understand why how my um malcolm x is magneto when, when he's a part of the Mag, um, nation of islam that's the magneto obviously when you become proper islam he, he turns into professor x if you want to put it in that mm. perspective but you know um i like the way stanley got that idea from man but yeah it's great i'm also watching well i i, I finished season one of heart the gangster of harlem which has malcolm x involved in it as yeah. well um so now nah, big figures man i remember going to new york and going to uh into harlem and to to, to malcolm x avenue and whatnot mm. man it's kind of fucking deep bro no. uh even though everyone's telling me not to go to that 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 part of harlem and whatnot i don't give a fuck man i went there during the day and um it's still scary though so i went to some parts where where um it's not too far from there where big l's and memorial is but mm. just to be there bro malcolm x avenue or whatever you're just like oh my god this this is some epic history where i'm where i'm um you know visiting no of course of course it plays he's one of them guys that play a big part in our life in 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 the world that we live in at the moment plays a big part massive part massive part history, so, man history yeah history, no, for history. sure man people are part of history of course of course uh moving on bro so they look to bring back and continue the batman animated series while we're on the Batman subject, I'm excited to see that because the Batman animated series, I think, did a lot in animation at that time with Batman because it's a, it was still quite really dark and gritty cartoon, but it was a kid's cartoon. Mm. 
Yeah, I remember that one. I remember that one. I have to go back and like recap on what, or even what you said about Master of the Universe is all a, a continuation. I need to catch a YouTube video that updates me with everything because it's been a while since I've no, seen those, man. Definitely, definitely. Uh, Indiana Jones start shooting in two months. How old is Harrison Ford, man? God damn. That guy's about Still 80, doing bro. this shit. <laughs> Still doing it, man. What a champ. Yeah, definitely. Uh, 33 years ago. Uh, over the top premiered. Can you imagine that? You remember that one? Oh my god, Stallone, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Bloody hell, that was a good movie. Yeah. So there's another. Remember the truck, the big yeah. monster truck. Yeah. And it. it's just like. He's in the truck, just. Just uh, changing. His right hand tonks. Right hand is tonks. <laughs> <laughs> Left hand <is> basic. <laughs> uh, what was it? Uh, yeah, no, over the top. It's still a good film, great soundtrack. Uh, it's a good film, man. I love those movies still to this day, man. Like, I, yeah, I yeah. can't wait to set up and be able to sit down and just watch those movies again and just get lost again. I, I really enjoyed those movies. Yeah, no, for mo- sure. What about, did you see the trailer for Jackie Chan and Arnold Schwarzenegger's new movie? Um, Iron Mask or something? Iron Mask, that's it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it looks like one of those. I think China is really investing in... Hollywood movies. I was listening to a podcast today, yeah. uh, Mr. Rogan, as usual, and he had um, some Singaporean lady. I can't remember her name. She was well, she's based in Singapore. She'd been living in the U- U.S. for forever. Anyway, the, she was talking about how China's so much involved in the um, the movie industry, right? Especially Hollywood, so much influence. Um, she she mentioned Doctor Strange, right? And remember, the source source of Supreme should is supposed to be a Tibetan monk. Right? Now China, apparently, this is according to her and, and, and that, I don't know, I'm no expert on shit, but China, ha- there's problems with Tibet because I think Tibet's one of those places like Hong Kong or whatnot that's trying to get um, attached, detached from China, like mm. be separate, you know, same with Taiwan or whatnot. So apparently China had investment in, I don't know if it's the Marvel Studios or Doctor Strange itself, and they did not want Sorcerer Supreme to be a Tibetan monk because of that bullshit politics they got you know, going on. That's why they changed it to a uh, female something else monk or whatnot. Um, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of freaking. Um, they got they did bro. They 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 are throwing money out there because the, I saw the going back to the trailer of Iron Iron Mask is like I don't know if you've seen it. It's just all this it's this fantasy sort of stuff yeah, and yeah. whatnot. Um, but Jackie Chan and Arnold Schwarzenegger, well, that's fucking epic. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what I was going to say. It's them two, two, them two guys together. They, I know they made this film quite long ago, so it's been ages for it to come out. Uh, but yeah, it's good to see them two together. I never thought I'd get to see a movie with those two guys in it. So that's, it's well, enough. We saw, um, remember Around the World in 80 Days? Yeah. Yes. They had a little moment together when he was a, Arnie was the Turkish. I think it was Turkish, the Turkish king or whatever, and they had their little moment. So yeah, they've been together on the screen before. Yeah, that's fine. Well, just that's true. But to see them in a full movie together, it's gonna be. I'm I'm gonna enjoy it regardless. It'll be good yeah. fun. Yeah. It'll be good fun. Jackie uh, just doesn't stop. Bloody hell, man! He just don't stop. I know. I know. He won't. He won't. He won't. He won't. He'll keep going, bro. He'll keep going. Definitely keep going. Legend. Uh move on there's a movie i want you to check a trailer out later on and let me know what you think it's called boss level boss level okay boss level okay. boss level so frank gorillo and mel gibson oh okay okay this trailer looked awesome i haven't seen the trailer let me take it out i'll take a look yeah, i'll take a look awesome. i like frank gorillo i like yeah. i like him um obviously mel gibson's a fucking legend but um frank gorillo yeah i like him man he's no. got this thing on netflix called um fight world or something which is That's a great right. one i hope they do a season two um but yeah yeah he was crossbow wasn't it yeah he was crossbow. crossbow that's right crossbow yeah. yeah uh i'll check it out i'll definitely check it out yeah who is did, did mel gibson direct this one no no he's in it uh oh but trailer looks awesome it's a film i want to see whether it comes out in cinema or netflix whatever it looks awesome it just look high octane really fast paced action movie uh but yeah, I'm I'm not gonna give away any of the plot, guys. If you want to get the chance, check out Boss Level. It looks awesome. All right, for sure. Let's do it. I'll do it. I'll mm. take a look. Uh, but yeah, that's about it, bro. Uh, I think the major part of it was that 
reveal of Batman. Other than that, it's going to be a busy... What have I got? Let me look at the calendar. 20... Oh, excuse me. We've got a couch, man. I'm getting, getting lazy, man. I'm sitting down on it. Uh, 27th of February. There's an event happening. Me and Ash are going to be down there. It's going to be quite interesting. Uh, I can't say any details now. Closer to the time, I'll let you guys know. And there's something else happening as well. you got Comic-Con. I heard, uh, com what's his name? Carl posted something about they got a Batman-themed restaurant in London. Yeah, Which is cool. One. It's about time. Yeah. Like, you know, I have my, I have my, the Heroes Cafe I got here, the DC yeah. one and what. I don't, I don't know why there's not nothing like that in London. It's which is be. weird, so. I'm looking forward to seeing that. I think hopefully we're looking to go when it opens up on the opening night. So I'm, I'm just waiting for more information on that. Uh, I was thinking... Uh, you got the Spring Comic Con on Sunday, the 29th of February. I'm thinking, do I go meet Mark Cascos, bro? Ah, uh, have you met him before? No, I want to meet him. They go meet him, man. Shit. Yeah, I'm, go I'm, meet I'm, him. I've been contemplating on what, what what do I do? Do I go? Do I not go? And then they got Liverpool the following week, and they've got quite a lot of people there. But the guy I want to meet is Optimus Prime. But the guy who does the voice? Yeah. He's there? Yeah. That's moist. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what happens. I'm not sure. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I was going to calm down on the Comic Cons this year, but I don't think it will ever come out of my system. No, I mean, if there's people to meet, man, I mean, you could go for that. Like, just, I mean, just going around looking at shit, you see that all the time. Right? Yeah, the no, same thing. But maybe if you get an opportunity to look, meet people, maybe just literally go there to meet someone. No, no, it's going to be a bit of a mission. Uh, the London one, I, mean, I think the Cascos is a definite. I, I need to go meet him. And, yeah, man, that guy gave us... Bah, nah, 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 we're here. <laughs> Fucking... Yeah, Capoeira. Capo. I'll never forget my first ever Capoeira class. The teacher, they call it Brazilian time. It, it came 30 minutes late or something. And I was like, oh, this is basic. And then I was like, oh, maybe I'll just kind of skip it today. And then he plays the tune. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm in. I'm in. Uh, that's when I done Capoeira for a couple of years. I mean, I don't do it anymore now, but that tune, it was, it was awesome. Yeah, wicked track, wicked track. So yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'm gonna walk in the place and play that song on my phone and meet him. Yeah, just walking with the uh, my bidding bow is still at home, isn't it? Ding 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 ding. <laughs> but your bidding bow is in like three or four pieces right now, bro. It's not broken. What do you mean? It's like oh, okay. it's been taken apart and it's in the loft somewhere, bro. I'm taking it apart, man. It's one stick, bro. And it's no, broken. no, I mean, like it's all other little the, bo the bottom yeah, piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I never, I never, got, I never got into it. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I the, the instruments I was interested in, but you got to commit time to it, man. No, um, of course. And whatnot. And I was just interested in the kicks. Yeah. I lost interest in the uh, other stuff. But um, yeah, 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 yeah. No, definitely, uh, definitely. That's my head, bro. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, bro! The Nacho Funko Pop. Where did you find that? There's a shop, man, in Ho in, in Singapore that's that has this, literally the whole shop is almost all Funko Pop, and um, they got loads of ones, man. Um, loads of different ones. Uh, I don't know. I saw the Nacho one and I was like, should I just pick it up? But I don't know. If if Yako really wants it, I could get it for him next time I'm there. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's wicked. They got Funko Pop from for everything you can think of, everything. You could think of they got a Funko Pop for it. Yeah, they've grown, and now they're getting into loads of bigger things as well, man. Like, uh, yeah, I look at my collection. I mean, I've narrowed down. Uh, I've started selling some, but like those collectible ones and the ones where I've got them signed by the artist or something. Ah, if I'm gonna meet Mr. Dacascos. I need to find a pop that looks like him. Well, I don't even know if they did. They a must pop. have one. Man. See if they did one um, for Drive, Drive or, or something. Free. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll I'll have a look. I'll, if not, I'll. Uh, I'll just get one of his old movies, man. We must have one of his old movies, only like the like um, Only the Strong. I mean, <clears throat> that's how we got to know him, really. That's when yeah. we first got introduced to him. Sign, get him to sign Only the Strong. Yeah, that's true. I'll do that. Definitely do that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, definitely. Let's see. Let's see what happens. But yeah, that's about it, bro. This week and no, nothing else much. Man. Cool. So next week might be uh, 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 the Brothers Geek Out podcast from Bangladesh. Uh, I'll be traveling to Bangladesh next week, meet mum and dad there. Haven't been back since. When did we go, bro? 15 years ago or something like that? 2006. 
2006. Yes. The math. Do the math. 14 bro. years ago. 14. No. Uh, it's too far. Yeah, too far. Fucking 14 years ago or something like that. Yeah, 14. Before years I started Dow Jones. Yeah, 14 right? years ago. Yeah. Yeah. So. Bloody hell. Time it's been fine. a while, man. I mean, as Des Press say, it's not about where you are. It's about the motherland. Hmm. Um. And Bangladesh is the motherland. And I think as I get older, I got a lot more respect for my heritage and whatnot. Even though I don't know nothing about it. Do you know what I'm trying to say? I don't yeah, know yeah, nothing yeah, about it. And I don't think we've taken much interest in it. Growing up, it's a bit of a sad thing. Um, a lot of it would, you know, pass. A lot of it would die off with my kids. You know what I mean? I don't know much. I don't think mm. my kids would learn much from me. It depends. I don't know. But... I definitely appreciate it a lot more, man. But I just want to go there and just go for a short weekend visit granddad and grandma's grave from mum and dad's side, mm. you know, show my respect and just see the old uh, farmhouse that we live in. I say no. farmhouse, it's a huge freaking bungalow, but it's a farmhouse, man. We, we, we you know, the, the living in the village and whatnot. I am not looking forward to seeing those big ass spiders and shit. I'm gonna tell them, look, you know what, get rid of those fuckers before I come, man. Like every time I go to the toilet, I'm like, yo, can you just go check and see if there's anything in there? Cause I'm not, as I'm older, bro, I can't be taking a shit with a massive spider size of my hand on the back. On the wall, like, we did it when we were younger though. We did it. We did it. I know, but I don't know if I could do it now. That shit freaks me out, man. I'm so scared of creepy crawlies. It's unbelievable. I don't know what it is, but um, <sighs> yeah, hopefully we could do. I, I can make. I can make it happen and do it from there, man. Now they got Wi-Fi there, so just take your phone with you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I will be taking my phone. Just with your me. phone. You don't um, need to take your iPad and things because end up taking it and shit. Just take your phone. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm literally taking a wax out. Yeah, I mean that's another thing, man. It's jokes, man. Because I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a 35 year old man living out here in Singapore by myself. I travel all around Asia, but when it comes to Bangladesh, dad's like, no, don't, don't go without me. Yeah. I'm like, alright. And dad's like giving me all this advice when I get to the airport. This is what I said. I'm like, pops, I'm cool. He goes, no, trust me. Your, your Bengali descent, right? got a British passport they're gonna they're gonna try and fuck you over I'm like, all right well yeah so they're really worried about me coming to Bangladesh <laughs> they're like don't come without a visa make sure you get the visa and I'm like it's just jokes but I travel all around Asia by myself but Bangladesh where the motherland is like don't ever go there without pups it's a but problem. that's a sad thing but I'm so grateful you know what I'm so grateful that mum and dad actually go in because it, I, I, I definitely um, wouldn't have gone right and if I was in the UK I probably would never have thought of like, yeah, I'm going to go do a little weekend in Bangladesh. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, just because I got this thing and I was speaking to George the other week and I was contemplating, should I go, should I go? He's like, gee, because the tickets are expensive and the visa was expensive. And he was like, gee, if I could pay that much to go pay respects to my grandparents' grave, like, and possibly for the last time, I'll fucking pay double. And I was like, you know what? That's what I need to hit. Um, and you know what? So yeah, it doesn't matter about the money and the time period. As long as I could go there, show my respects, just kind of absorb it maybe for the last time i don't know but yeah you know what i mean i'm kind of going there thinking this could be my last time going to dash mm. if mom and dad don't go there then i won't have i wouldn't want to go there anyway no, no, um no. so this could be my last time you know what i mean when we went last time we didn't think that maybe this is not our last time we went there thinking ah you know but maybe it's your last time bro maybe you might have no intentions of going to bangladesh again and stuff like that so I'm uh, unless you want to take Alara there one day, I don't know, but, bro, yeah, I'm I'm literally going with the mind frame that this is my last time going to Bangladesh. It's crazy, yeah, it's isn't it? It's quite deep. It's quite deep. Definitely quite deep. Yeah. It, well, it, you never know, bro. Gonna have, finally, I'm gonna have footage though. I'm like, I know we got footage, but I'm gonna have footage that I'm gonna keep dear to me on my phone, which mm. is always gonna be next to me, and uh, I'll post some shit on Instagram, which is gonna be there for life. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, it's it's gonna be. It's footage that we're gonna have that, no, uh, that I'm gonna good. have, and I'm gonna remember this time. And and uh, yeah, yeah, nice deep. Yeah. So next week, hopefully cool. from Bangladesh. Definitely, that'd be good. Definitely, that'd be good. That'd be good. That'd be good. All right, cool. All right, bro. Uh, I think that's it for today. I don't cool. think there's nothing else on the topic, but uh, guys, again, massive thank you for your support. Uh, you guys are absolutely amazing. We're getting to that 100. There's going to be a few things that change on the channel as well in the next couple of weeks. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoy the podcast, make sure you comment below. Let us know your thoughts. Uh, we're going to have a timeline on there as well, guys. Now that I've been writing it all down, 
so you get to see what sections we talk about if you don't want to hear about what like spoilers or stuff like that what i'm going to do i'm going to timeline it out now uh but yeah click on that subscribe button click on that like dislike comment share uh and thank you for the support really and truly subscribe click subscribe man subscribe i have follow gilman on his journey he's going to bangladesh as well so G G man sorry gilman 187 and mine is kibla ahmed art uh, on instagram so uh, and on twitter so guys check it out uh and guys check out my footage of the robert patterson as batman matt reeves on the youtube channel would be the one before this uh, i put hans zimmer's soundtrack on it watchful guardian and every time i watch it i get excited so check it out let me know your thoughts but yeah g-man have a good one bro uh awesome. i'll catch you up during cool. the week and uh yeah one love peace